Sam from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm going to show you how to do a hollowed out number or letter for a cake topper. So it's a shaker, but the inside is hollowed out so that you can put sequins and whatever and make it really fun. So it could be for a cake topper, a cupcake topper, or even just a topper for your gift wrap. So we will get started. I'm going to flip it over so that you can see my desktop and then um, we'll get started. All right. Okay, so give me just one second. All right, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so on my on my desk, you can see I did two things. I wanted to show you. So I realized the last time when I did the letter C that the foam was really thin and it was hard to handle. So what I did was in the offset is so I'll have a design space tutorial that will take you into Inkscape because we have to do the offset in Inkscape, okay? But I want to go over the layers so you can kind of see the difference between the two. So you're going to have your original letter that you type in, right? So in this case, we typed in four zero. And then your next one that you're going to do is going to be um, a 60. So your offset's going to be 60, 90, and 60, 90, 120, 150. I know, can you believe that? So this top layer is actually at 90. So from the original zero, this is an offset of 90. And then this is, the red is the 120. And then this, I called it a peach layer, but it's more like cream, is 150. What you end up not using is the 30. 30 we don't need at all. 60 you're gonna need because 60 is gonna be our foam. So, yeah, so 60 is our foam, and then this is 90, 120, 150. And you can see that here, the, between the two, I feel like we, we need that third layer to really make it pop. Um, all right, so I'm just going to do one layer or one set. I'm not gonna do both, but I wanted to, I wanted you to see it side by side. And then also because this one doesn't have that third layer, then the second, the back layer is welded together. So it's one piece. You always wanna do that for your cake toppers because it just gives you more stability. You don't want anything falling over or anything like that. So in this case, our last layer is welded together and then we have our red. Everything else is the same size, all right? Okay, so the other thing that's gonna be different when you're doing, uh, when you're dealing with foam, is that sometimes depending on how thick or thin your foam is, or how intricate your design is. So in this case, sometimes you're gonna wanna do. Here's my acetate paper. It's actually the Avery uh, sheet protectors. It's much cheaper. It's on my Amazon shop. I would, I would use this. I've been using this, and it hasn't been an issue. So it's Amazon.com/shop slash the useless crafter and then it's uh, um it's all organized by categories so this would be cake topper materials okay so sometimes you'll see me doing the foam on the acetate paper putting then filling my sequins in and then closing this up and then adding this to the rest of my project in this instance where actually what i want to do is i want to do the acetate paper to my top layer okay because the the acetate acetate paper is a perfect fit for this. So I want it to go on here. Sorry, I'm like finding the right <laughs> combination here, finally. Okay, so this is a, an exact fit, right? And then the reason why I wanna do the acetate onto this layer is because then I can see where the foam needs to go because now I have an outline of the red, so I know where the foam should go. So I don't wanna put the foam here, then you'll see some of my foam on the flip side, right? So in this instance, I do wanna put down the acetate to the red, okay? So all you need to do is, let's get out a scrap piece of paper and then take your foam, or <laughs> your glue runner, your tape runner, and just make sure you get it all the way down. Okay. Now this doesn't have to have a complete seal because this is not what is holding in 
your sequins, but you just want to, you know, push it down. I know my cut, this was, this cardstock did not cut well. <laughs> That's why it ripped right there. So, okay, so now that we have this layer down, you have your acetate paper here, so you can see that. Um, now we want to put, I want to make sure where it is. Okay, so I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to do the glue all the way around. Now this one is, you need to be careful. You need to make sure that you get the whole foam with the tape because this is going to keep your sequins in. Okay, so it's really important that you get it all the way around and you can see it. It's super sticky. It really does hold in your, um, hold in your sequins. Now you can see, if you remember watching this, the letter C, this foam is so much thicker and so much easier to handle. All right, so now we're gonna put this down. Now I always recommend when you're using your foam that um, you do it with a color that matches. I did it this way just so that you can see all the different layers and that we can keep the layers distinct and separate because I had such a hard time with the last with the last one. So that's why this is yellow. Because what happens is here at an angle, you can see the yellow a little bit. But if it was the same color as your cardstock, then it would just blend in. And then especially depending on your sequins, the color of your sequins and the glitter, that will also help hide it. But just something to consider. Okay, so now that we have our foam layer on, you wanna make sure you press down really well so that you have a good seal for your sequins. This is the wall that's gonna hold your sequins in, okay? And I forgot to get that out. So let's put in our sequins and our, let's see, I'm gonna put in a little bit of glitter as well, just so that we can really see it. And I'll use maybe, okay. And you wanna put in a lot more than less is is the <laughs> is the secret to this otherwise it's going to feel really sparse okay all right so that plus a little see um glitter just so that you can really see it when we flip it over oh i put in a lot <laughs> that's okay all right so make sure that your sequence and your glitter is kind of pushed into the middle because now we're going to run a layer of the glue on top and so we will need to make sure that we get a really good layer of the glue tape down and you need to get all of the foam okay so if you push your sequence into the middle a little bit that will help you just get all the way around without it popping up onto your tape all right i think i got it all oh no i didn't I'm missing a piece right here. Oh, and I ran into the glitter. That's okay. <laughs> All right, so on this one, I'm gonna, oh geez. <laughs> I'm spilling the glitter everywhere. All right, so let's push it down. And I always kind of then spread out the glitter so that my acetate layer is kind of flat. And then you want to seal it all the way around just to make sure you have a good, good, good seal. All right. So there you have it, right? So that's good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to then tape it to this layer right here. And then you're going to glue it on top of here. And then it's going to be one full thing. Okay, so let's, um, you know what, I'm going to, while we're waiting, we'll do the four, but plug in your glue gun because we're gonna add layers to this. I feel like it looks really flat. First of all, it's because of the colors that I chose. I matched the colors to what I did in Inkscape so that when we do our tutorial in Inkscape, you can see which layer is which because I know that was really confusing the first time that we did this. And that was definitely my fault. <laughs> so um, I want to put the glue down to make it pop up a little bit. Let's work on the four. So again, with the four, what we're going to do is we're going to do the acetate paper to the, our top layer, and then we'll put our foam down and then put the sequins in. This way, when we have this on, we know where the four should go. Okay, so let's... Um, 
get the glue all around. All right, so let's get this on. And I love this acetate paper. So I know I keep calling it acetate paper because that's what you should be using. But um, if you have the We Are Memory Keepers button maker, which I do, they use a mylar um, cover on top to make so that your paper is covered. And I realize that you can use this as well. So another savings for you. All right, so here's the four, right? Let's put, um, we wanna put it on the top layer so that we can put it face down like this to put our sequence in. So let's flip it over. Okay, and again, this is the layer that you need to make sure that we seal really well because it's gonna hold in our sequins and our glitter. And you can see it's super sticky. Ever since I started using this method, I haven't had any leakage issues, so I'm super happy with um, the tape. Now I did start out using um, the Xyron machine, but the problem with that was if your foam is kind of thin, going through the machine really messed up my um, the shape of my foam. So if you have something really thin, I would not recommend it. All right, so it's down. Let's put in our sequins. And this time I'm gonna put in not as much so that you can see the difference, okay? I'm gonna try to do that. All right, and a little bit of glitter. Okay, and then again, same thing. You gotta move your sequins in to get that tape all the way around. Okay. And see, I already picked up some sequins. <laughs> All right. And it's so staticky too, so it's you got to push it in while while you have the advantage. <laughs> All right, this one might be gone. All right. Do you see how they're popping up? Oh my gosh. So this four is really thin as compared to the zero because the zero I was able to push everything in. So you gotta make sure that you take off all these little pieces otherwise your seal is compromised. All right, and it's so sticky right now. And then once you get it off, Let's get our acetate paper on like super fast before we have more issues. <laughs> All right, let's get that four. Where is it? Here it is. So you can see in comparison, the here, I'll put it over here right it's missing so much like i definitely would prefer a more full um sequins bedazzled junk <laughs> i don't know what else to call it okay so now let's add our little um, let's use our glue gun and we're just going to flip this over and we're going to add glue spacers basically this is in the place of um, foam stickers, okay? So just put little glue dots all the way around. We're gonna let it dry. And that way it's gonna give us, when it dries, it's gonna give us a little bit of space in between. And that's gonna give us a little bit of that dimension that we want so that it's not such a flat um, decorative piece. Okay, and I'm gonna grab another glue stick. All right. So we have our four down. We're also gonna to wanna to do it on this. So let's turn this around and you can see, I would just put it where the foam is. 
not that it's on the foam, but the foam is kind of our um, guideline. Okay, and you're going to do it on the four as well. Okay. And that should give it enough time for it to dry a little bit. So now that we have our little spacers, right, now you're actually going to use your glue gun, put glue on it to actually use as glue. So. And I know it's hard to tell on camera, but in person, you can already see that there's some space and it just gives it a more polished look. And it would also help too, had I used like um, mixing up a little bit of the paper. So if I had a little bit of glitter paper, maybe some shimmer paper, this would definitely look nicer and it looks kind of plain right now, or I mean, I'm sure it's fine. Um, I'm just always used to having so much glitter. All right, so on this one, just make sure your glue stick is in. There it is. Okay. All right. And then put a little bit of glue on. Now when you first put this down, what you wanna do is kinda of hold it so that it's balanced. So if you hold it, even if you don't have the glue dots all around to make it even and balanced, if you hold it while it's drying, it will dry balanced. <laughs> so that's kind of the trick that you need to do. Okay, and then let's do this one and then we're almost done. So just hold it a second to make sure that it dries. Okay, and there you have it. So here's our hollowed out silhouette. And the other thing that I'm really used to doing is having the back layer as shimmer paper or glitter paper, because do you see how it's kind of flimsy? This is 65 pound paper. And if I put my, um, my dowel in, I would need to do it to two of them. I would need to put one under the four and one under the zero. If I had had glitter cardstock, I could probably just stick it down the middle and hold it like this. But you can see it's kind of bending. Not a whole lot, but still, you're gonna wanna do that. So that's the difference between the two. This is the two layer, this is the three layer. I definitely think the three layer would be nicer. All right, so I will see you on the design space tutorial. I promise you it is so much better this time. <laughs> All right, if you have any comments or questions, please post them or a special request, just let me know. I would love to help you. Um, it's Anne at theuselesscrafter.com, so A-N um, at theuselesscrafter.com. And then if you post your comments, I'm here. I usually respond within two days. All right, bye guys, happy crafting.